Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hunter's Hooks. I'm your host Grant, like always. I was sitting here cleaning up my truck, and I realized, you know what? Let's do our top five trucks for this week. So, what I've asked is send in pictures of your truck, and y'all did, and I got the top five right here. Like this one right there. That's our number five, a red Dodge. Nothing better than a good Dodge out there driving around. Looks great. Now, going from Dodge, we're going to jump right into a GMC. It looks like it's been slammed, and it's a BA-looking truck. Right there. White GMC. Wow. That's a that's actually a really nice-looking GMC. Kind of jealous. Now, I don't really differentiate from the GMC or the Chevy or the Dodges, but the Dodge Max Cab, probably one of my favorite trucks out there besides my Tundra. And this one, black, Max Cab, Cummings, I mean, come on. It's a gorgeous truck. That's our number three. Now, going from Dodge, GMC, I had to throw this in there, and I haven't seen one, well, I've actually seen a couple, but I haven't seen one lately. This is an F450. I just like how it's set up. I mean, if you're not a Ford fan, I get it. If you're not a Dodge fan, I get it. If you're not a Chevy fan, I know I know you guys draw your lines, but F450 just looks awesome. Now, I'm a little biased to the number one because it's a uh, it's from a home state of Florida. And um, yeah, it's down there on Daytona Beach, one of the greatest beaches in the world, and this is it. That's that Chevy girl. Right there. Silver teal accents that truck looks awesome well that's it for your top five trucks for this week uh, thank you for sending those pictures in thanks for helping me out uh, I'm gonna get back to cleaning out my tundra but I'm gonna take you right into our fishing report with Matt Baxley Matt take it away what's up guys this is Big Bass Professor with HuntersHooks.com bringing you another weekly fishing report well we've got a little bit of cooler weather coming up the bass are still kind of entering that fall transition period. Look for your creek, creek mouse, your canal entries. Uh, look for the bait. Bait is the key. If you find bait, you're going to find bass and go through a rotation of baits until you get bit. Uh, offshore, grouper bites still hot. Uh, they're getting some hogfish coming in. Kingfish are starting to show up. Inshore, they're still catching a lot of trout, red, snook, flounders. Uh, there's some pompano showing up off the beaches. It's a great time of the year to get a line wet. With this cooler weather coming up, it's going to be even better. You guys stay safe. Tight lines. Thanks, Matt. That is awesome, like always. So we go from here. We know where we're going to go. We're going to go right into what we like to do every week, our fishing montage. Oh, by the way, starting November, Hunter's Hooks is giving 10% off on all Hunter's Hooks merchandise. So buy your merchandise. All right. Going straight from here, fish and montage. Enjoy it. Fish and montage. 
montage is over, this is the end of the show. So, like I always say, don't forget to like us. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and go to Hunter'sHooks.com. 10% off starting November. The actual date of November, I don't know. Could be first, could be second, could be third. But in November, 10% off all Hunter's Hooks merchandise. So get out there, help us, support us. And um, yeah, thanks. Have a great week and uh, God bless. Go to Hunter's to see more videos. See you there.